Hi, this is Tristan from Microsoft Student Partners Program. I got the honor to be able to review the Zoom HD, which I was able to get from the UCF Computer Store. And I'm actually going to review the Zoom 4.0 software, which is a big upgrade just for anyone that wants to use a new type of playback software. Um, first thing I'm going to do is going to open it up. So here's the new Zoom HD. It's very nice, very sleek and slender. Uh, comparably smaller than the original Zoom, which was a pretty big uh, piece of equipment, but uh, it's still very nice. Um, nice thing about the Zoom HD is it has an unlock, which you slide up like this, and it brings you right to the main menu. You can see there's music, video, pictures, radio, marketplace, social, and internet, as well as apps and settings. The nice thing too is if you hit the button down here, it actually scrolls over, and you can see I already had the, I had the Beatles paused, but also shows you all the different things I had for history, um, including pictures, um, albums that I was playing, and stuff like that. Well, I'm a very big fan of Bob Marley, so let me go in and go in and click an album here. And I kind of I want to show you guys this kind of cool transition they do with the uh, menus. I actually enjoy this really. I'm gonna go ahead and select this right here, and you can see it kind of flips over and it goes starts playing the music right away. It's a very very nice feature. I like it's something they didn't need to do, but it's kind of kind of adds to the zoom. You know, it gives it gives it a little bit more it gives it much more credit. On the bottom here, I can shuffle, I can repeat, and I can also set as my favorites. Uh, as you can see now, it went to screensaver mode. Nice thing is too is it shows you pictures of Bob Marley, which I'll get into in a couple seconds, and it shows you like the song playing and even album co out for cover art, as you can see right there too. You can go ahead and go back here, hit the back button at the top. The nice thing too is any time you're in the menu, you can hit the side button right here, and as soon as you do that, it allows you to play, pause, increase volume be able to jump to the next track and all that stuff. So let me go ahead and move to the main menu. Um, let me go ahead and select music and show you guys that real quick. You can see I've got my artist right here. Let me go ahead and select Bob Marley and the Wailers. Now it's got all the albums, which is awesome, which is nice. That's obviously been done over and over again. But the nice thing that I think that puts it a little ahead is it automatically downloads pictures when you sync it with the Zoom software. So it shows those pictures. I don't know if you can see it in the background. It actually puts those pictures in the background. And the same thing goes too, is you can actually select bio, and you can read a bio about Bob Marley and the Whalers. Same thing too, is you can also find what's related. You can see there's related artists based on that type of, uh, that type of you know, reggae, that type of genre. And you can scroll back through. Nice thing is you don't have to sc slide scroll all the way back. It automatically starts off. Let me go and go back to this main screen. You can see videos here. Let me go in and do the first launch video. This is actually a video that plays off of the Zoom software. It's very clean and cut, but it does a very good job. And then let me show you some pictures. Let me go ahead and uh, go to pictures, go to a car show. Actually, I'll actually show you a picture of my Volkswagen bus. So you can see there, it's very clean, very nice graphics, but if I rotate sideways, it gives a full screen. Unfortunately, this webcam on my, on my computer here doesn't give me, you know, it doesn't show you the best, uh, the best uh, quality, but hey, at least works. You go ahead and uh, you can scroll through obviously by you know sliding back and forth. With all that said, let me go ahead and uh, show you the Zoom software itself. I'm going to switch over here. All right, let's go ahead and check out the new Zoom 4.0 software. Let's open up Internet Explorer. And go to www.zoom.net. Once you're there, you're going to want to click on the Zoom software 4.0 link or you can also click on the computer icon as well. Now click download. Now you want to make sure you select what version you have, 32-bit or 64-bit. In my case, I've got 64-bit, so of Windows 7. So I'm going to select that and click download now. Now I already have it installed, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alright, that loaded up pretty quick. Now let's go ahead and show you a little bit about this. Now the cool thing about the pins is it actually asks you when you first open up the Zoom software for three artists. In my case I did Bob Marley, Sublime, and Slightly Stupid. Now it's kind of cool so you can click on and play on it if you want, but I'm also going to show you something else about this called Smart DJ. It's brand new to the 4.0 software. I'm going to select Bob Marley and it automatically starts playing Bob Marley right on the fly. It's kind of nice. And the cool thing is, too, is it automatically selects different artists based on that type of genre. Pictures in the background of the artists you're playing currently, and it also shows you a collage of the album art. Now, 
what we're going to do is, you can also see here that it also does the visualization on the bottom with playing the music. But that's kind of standard in everyday type of music players. Let's go on and pause this and let's jump to the next part. Let's hit back. Alright, now let's go in collections. Now in collections you can have all your music, as you can see here. And you can also have all your videos as well. Pictures, podcasts, channels, which I did not subscribe to any, and apps. Now let's jump to Marketplace. Now Marketplace has got everything you need as far as music, as you can see right here. Also videos, which is new to the 4.0 software. Podcasts. Channels, which is subscribed to, as well as apps for your Zune HD. Now the cool thing about Picks, let me sign in here, it'll actually pick on music um, that you would like to have. For example, you'll see that I actually it decided to pick that I like the, the Who, which is true, I do like the Who. So that's perfect. Now let's go back to social. Actually, let's click on social. And you'll see this has all your friends in here, especially with your Xbox Live account. Let's click on Owen386. And you can see the music that he played. See if maybe if you like it. And the cool thing is about this too is that you can purchase it if you want to. It also gives you relative information about like, you know, where he's from, Daytona Beach in this case. But it links it all from your Xbox Live or your Live account in general. Let's go ahead and jump back to the Quick Play screen. And here you can see you've got all your stuff you want. It's a very sleek, very nice interface. And you can play music from here if you want to, like I have in this case, Sublime. It'll start playing Sublime and it'll actually load up album information. It's actually a very, very nice interface too. Very clean, very cut, and you can play music right from here. As you can see, I can play Bob Mall if I want to. I also wanted to show you how easy it is to plug in the Zoom too. Let me go in and plug it in here. Hold on one second. All right, now you'll notice on the bottom left, it'll actually show up in a couple seconds. Oh, there it is. Let's go ahead and click on it. I named mine the Zoom Buggy, a very unique name, obviously. But the cool thing is you can also view the music on it, the videos, the pictures, the podcasts, and as well as friends. In my case, I don't have any friends. <laughs> and also, as well as the channels and the apps. That's pretty much it. Um, I hope you enjoy the review. Please leave comments. This is actually one of my first reviews. Feel free to email if you have any questions. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Tristan from Microsoft Senior Partners Program. Have a good one.